Let's quickly see what Grovescape includes, and then we'll talk more about it. You'll find the download link in the description. Hey everyone, I was learning to make some trees in Plant Factory and decided to share the trees that I made. Then I thought, why not create a simple scatter system using geometry nodes? And that's how I finally made Grovescape. So it would be more useful for beginners who have just started with Blender and are looking for something like this. This forest generator includes only trees, fallen leaves, and fallen bark. I haven't added any ground cover yet, but maybe I will in the future. This is going to be completely free, and it can be exported to Unreal Engine in GLTF format. I believe it can be exported to Unity as well. In this video, I've covered the process of making and adjusting the forest and exporting it to Unreal Engine. If you'd like to support my work, you can do so through Patreon, Gumroad, or even through Superhive Market, which was formerly Blender Market. This is the demo video of Grovescape. Let's get in. Grovescape includes 17 trees in total, two of which are pruned versions. All the trees work with both Eevee and Cycles. I've actually used just the Eevee version for everything you see in this video. You can scale the terrain up or down. You can either use it as a ground plane or scale it along the z-axis to turn it into a mountain. You can increase the tree density, change the seed, adjust the scale of the trees, and tweak the amount of random rotation. All these options are also available for the fallen leaves and bark. You even have the option to turn everything on or off individually, depending on what you need. There's also an option to add subdivision, so you can apply detailed displacement to the ground for more realism. Since the geometry node setup is applied directly to the original mesh, you can replace it with any terrain you've already made. The forest generator will work the same way, just like it does with the default mesh. You can also paint the trees wherever you want. Just click the Attribute toggle next to the Density factor. Then, switch to Weight Paint mode. In the Object Data Properties panel, under the Vertex Group section, choose Trees to paint trees, Leaves to paint leaves, and Bark to paint bark. You can add your own textures from Polyhaven or anywhere else, and it'll work just fine. Just make sure to tweak the texture scaling so it fits your terrain properly.
Here's how it looks in the Cycles version. Like I mentioned earlier, it works well in both EV and Cycles. To export it to Unreal Engine, first click on the Realize All to Export option in the Modifier panel. Click on the Forest Generator object, right-click, and choose Convert to Mesh. Now the Geometry Nodes modifier is applied, and everything is ready for export. Go to File Export and select GLB GLTF. I prefer this format because it includes all the textures in a single file, so you won't run into issues like missing textures. Just open an empty Unreal Engine project, create a new folder in the content drawer, then click the Import button. Select the forest file you exported from Blender and click Import. It may take a while depending on your PC and the size of the forest. Once it's exported, you can filter for static meshes and simply drag and drop the forest from the content drawer into your scene. One thing I forgot to do in Blender was setting the pivot point to the geometry. Because of that, the origin and the forest were in different places, which made navigation a bit difficult. So make sure to set the origin of the forest to the geometry before exporting. And that's it, the forest is exported. I used the default lighting setup here, but if you have some lighting knowledge, you can definitely get a much better result than this. I've uploaded Grovescape to my Patreon, Gumroad, and Superhive Market. Links to all of them will be in the description. And again, if you'd like to support my work, you can do it there, or even just by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That means a lot. Thanks for your time.